What are your quick answers for 2022? Hello and welcome to Falling Star Tarot. If you're new here, subscribe to catch me again. Click that bell to see my weekly notifications. Thank you everyone who's been supporting the channel. I appreciate all of your donations, um, orders for readings, everything, the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Very glad to have you here. Hello with an announcement about the tarot deck that I am using in this reading. This is the Waterfall Tarot and Tarot Oracle made this tarot. And I have featured it once before, I think, in my readings. I love using it for myself personally. I love watercolor and I think it's gorgeous. If you want to get this, it is available on Etsy in his store. I will try to link below, but it is Tarot Oracle. There you go, is the info. Yeah, I love this tarot. So in case you're looking at it and thinking you want a copy yourself, do go and get one. I love the feel of this stock. Okay. Commercial over. Those of you who aren't used to pick cards, I have laid out five piles, one through five, and the corresponding timestamps are down below. Okay, so let's see what is 2022 going to bring to you. We've got a couple tarot cards and an affirmation card. Plus, I just pulled a yes or no, and we're going to pull from the yes or no deck for each pile to see if there's agreement. Um, so this is going to tell us one yes or no question for 2022 per pile plus some advice and what might be coming towards you. So speaking of quick, let's get to your reading, right? Um, please take what resonates and leave the rest. I want you to remember that your one true constant in life is change. You are responsible for the outcomes that you create in your life. And I'll see you there. I forgot. I want to let you guys know that I am going to be giving away one of the decks used in this reading. This is the updated version with a nicer back and little like extra um, words to kind of help you process your affirmation. Now, not all of these are like the most chipper affirmations. It is almost like an oracle deck. And if you want to be entered into the giveaway, please just comment down below. Just type the word enter. And next week, I am going to be announcing the winner and in my video, and we will require you to um, let me know where to ship this to. One free deck. Do you see why I'm giving it away? I don't know about makeplayingcards.com. I've got to admit, I just ordered a deck off another manufacturer. And since this one came this way, like kind of crooked, I just said, well, I'm just going to give it away. Um, but there's not, I don't know about them. I'm going to try, I'm going to research this other manufacturer. And if I like it better, we might move my Ghosties Tarot over there, um, which will decrease the price. Give it a black core stock and it might be better. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. You can check out some of my past videos to see what, what I'm talking about there. But this, the Starlight Affirmation Oracle deck, is going to go free to one happy commenter. So do comment, um, enter if you want. I'm going to limit this to the United States of America. If you are from another country and you want a free personal reading, in place of this deck, comment down below and I will maybe re-enter this. I don't know. We're going to pull names from a hat. That is the scientific method that we are going to use. Okay. Um, all right. Let's get back to the proceedings. Hello to our first pile. Let's see what we have for you for 2021. With the chariot, you might be on the move. There could be a literal move um, into a new home, into a new job, or just maybe a lot of travel. Definitely a very victorious, happy energy. 
and I invite you to enjoy the energy. This is the energy of cancer as well. So any cancer sign that you've known, you know that they do like to come out winners. Um, but celebratorily, wait, but happily so, people are very happy to see cancers um, with their victories. Okay, and I, I see a lot of balance, um, good health. You will be sheltered from something with the Hierophant showing up. Hierophant? I'm not sure how to say that yet. How long? I've been reading tarot since I was a child, and I still say this word weird. But you may experience, um, I'm getting a mentor coming in, someone... Uh, from an organization, maybe you'll have an opportunity to to work with someone that you look up to or can offer you something in your field that none, you know, would be difficult for the average person to do. So this might be an upgrade. If you do not completely agree with this establishment, you may choose not to work with them, but I feel like this is going to be very amicable either way. Um, there's something to be learned from this situation, whether you work closely with, with them or not. Okay, um, and we have aim high, star shine. So maybe that's what this is about. You have what it takes to do what few can. Okay, so you are going to be doing something. Maybe you'll be solving a problem or implementing something you've always wanted to see, you know, happen, and. This is terrific because some people just have it naturally where it isn't like a tyrannical change. It is very welcomed and very fair. Like with the chariot, when you win, you consider those who have lost because of your win. Um, and you make sure that nobody really loses out. Let's grab some charms and then we'll go ahead and we will get you yes or no answers. I'm trying to keep this quick. So... Pile 1's 2022 energies. Oh my gosh. I immediately see Sagittarius. We have a Z. I am seeing a lot of communication. The power of communication and having a decent mentality. We have Aries and Libra. So those could be some people that you are dealing with. Sagittarius, Aries, Libra. We have Joy. Um, now, living in the moment, free freedom and happiness. You are going to have a terrific year. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that you are navigating towards abundance. And easy, you might have an easy victory. That's what I'm getting from that. And I don't know if this is a six or a nine, but either way, that's a very healing energy. And with the cat, I am just getting luck. Like you have someone on your side. I will let you take a look at those and see what you wish to see in them as well. Let's get your yes or no answers. Okay, if you have do not have a question in mind, please pause the video because I'm going to give you two yes or no answers and see how they agree. And your yes or no answer for 2022, pile number one is no. I hope this is a happy no. Let's consult the cards and they might tell us a little more. This is a great deck, the Crystal Ball Oracle deck. I love it. For pile number one, was it yes or was it no? What's the in-depth answer? It was a no. It is a no-no. So I have a feeling this is going to greet a lot of you really well. And if you're not, because this looks like a pretty solid no, if this is not resonating with you, um... I want you to know that this has a very positive energy to me. I Sometimes I get no's and I feel disappointment. I feel like really happy about the snow. Okay, I'm not sure what that'll mean, but I'm pretty sure your 2022 will tell you. Okay, that is your quick answer. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down below what you'd like to see in future readings. And if you saw anything in the charms that will help anyone, of course. Uh, subscribe to catch me again. Until next time, have fun. Hello for the second pile. We're going to save your yes or no answer for a few minutes. Let's see what 2022 is bringing to you. Oh my gosh. 
a lot of rest and recuperation, relaxation. So something could have been kind of slowing you down. I know a few of us have been feeling quite sluggish, but this is a card of healing, replenishment, and boy, it's a beautiful card. It's definitely rejuvenation. Being able to spread that rejuvenation and healing amongst your fellow uh, human beings, your peers and friends and elders even. Um, so I see you might be slowing down a bit, but in a very good way. Um, this could this could come after a time of working really hard and fervishly towards something and you now can relax and be more transparent and honest towards the world. I love those cards. Four and nine could mean something to you. I'm getting Aquarius energy, um, but also air signs and stuff as well. We have shine on and on and on coming out with the star. Now this card is all about stars, but that totally means star to me. You are someone's guidepost, someone's guide point in, uh, in their life. So just keep up the good work. Let that light shine on and on continuation is the proof of love so just keep doing what you are doing let's get a few charms rather quickly uh, please and then we'll have your quick answer yes or no 2022 for the second pile has the energies okay so we've got communication throat chakra speaking from the heart maybe singing if that is something you love I absolutely love how that looks like a heart. Speaking from the heart, we have mom. Now that could mean, and it's it's like, wow. So this is a very happy energy. And this could mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. It depends on what you've been asking about. And this came out in the first reading. Um, I see this as kind of like your, your, uh, your third eye chakra. So you could really be enlightened we've got the key with the same color in it you could be receiving knowledge that that could have something to do with your healing we have v and s versus oh and we have scorpio so maybe just some transformation or a scorp scorpio who is featured in your life again blue so it could be communication from a scorpio sorry about the bounce and versus Wow, is there some competition? Let's see. Let's do your yes or no answer. 2022. Now, if you do not have a yes or no answer ready, please pause the video right now and think of one because I'm going to flip it over in a second. Pile number two's yes or no answer. Will this be or what is the answer as far as 2022 is concerned? A no. We have a no for 2022 for that. I hope this is a happy thing. Let's see if the cards agree with this no or not, or if they can expand on it. 2022, what is the answer for pile number two and their question? And I'm putting the cards back in this deck because I realized I picked all of those and there's only so many. So I think the cards might carry more weight. Let's see. You're going in the right direction. Okay, so that's kind of a mixed message, but you have a no, but you're headed in the right direction, and clarity is on its way. Um, I'm not sure what that means to you, but I certainly hope it is healthy. Um, help, what? Happy, healthy, all of those things I try to combine into one word. Um and I hope that it brings you happiness. I do want you to know that you can change the outcome of any reading if you set your mind to it, especially with all the attention you're going to get as being the star of next year. If you were looking into some sort of entertainment industry or anything like that, recuperate and then just hit it because I think you really are someone that a lot of people look up to. Um, Okay, that's what I see for your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment down below. Give me a like, subscribe to catch me again, and until next time, have fun. Hello, pile number three. Let's see what is coming for you in 2022. 
oh my gosh, we've got a major transformation. You will be reborn in 2022. Um, you are going to completely reinvent yourself. Um, this is, the death card scares a lot of people, but there is a serious cycle coming to an end and something new beginning. So it's okay. Um, someone told me a little while ago that most people don't realize that the phoenix burns down her nest before she rises out of the ashes. Okay, someone didn't tell me that. I saw it on the internet, but this is how this goes. Um, so something is going to change and you're going, I have this feeling, and this is a high Scorpio energy, that you are going to be leading this transformation. We've got the seven of pentacles. So totally checking out the fruits of your labor, standing back and kind of going, look what I have done. I'm so proud of myself. I can see a lot of abundance and happiness and mastering a craft. Um, this transformation right, might really bring you into the energy you needed to do what you always wanted to do, especially financially. Show up and glow up. Get up, get there, and spread light. So if you're just kind of um, chilling out, you find yourself chilling out in 2022 and admiring everything and only stopping to smell the roses, make sure you still show up and you know, kind of show yourself off because you have a lot to offer people. Let's get your charms for 2022, your quick answer version of 2022. Your energies are, oh, uh, that's kind of bouncy. I felt like there was a couple little ones right there. Okay. Okay, so we've got communication from the heart. This came out in another reading. This one loves you guys. We always want to see you speaking your truth. You can be your authentic self and celebrate yourself. We have the cat and I feel luck with this one. This is going to be a very lucky year for you in 2022 with cause to celebrate. Celebrating, as a matter of fact, we have I, S, and N. I'm not sure what those might mean to you, but go ahead and make what you wish of those. And we have um, the Pisces, which is also kind of the, uh, the energy of the moon card. So trusting your own intuition is going to be like very important to you. Um, you may not know where you are right now and where you are headed, but that's okay. Just keep going. Keep forging forward. Okay. Now for your yes or no answer for 2022. If you do not already have a question in mind, please pause the video now because I am going to flip this in a moment. If you want to focus on your question for 2022, your answer will be a yes. Let's see if the cards will agree. The cards are getting shuffled back in so we have more of a chance of getting more diverse answers. Will it be yes or no for 2022? For pile three. What do we have for pile three? Oh, kind of being quiet. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. We have a no. Oh, so this is like a split decision. So this is a very changeable energy. This might be something that is grossly in flux. Okay, this might be a maybe because we're not really set up with two maybes. If you want to rephrase your question, I will pull one more time. If you're satisfied, though, I understand. I love a maybe. Maybe is potential and nothing's locked in place. But for those of you who want to void that and try again, 2021 or 2022, excuse me. Answer yes or no, 2022. Do the cards agree? This is the sign. Okay, yes. Yes. Well, that's really cool. Okay, so hopefully this is a happy yes, because this is the sign usually means that you will be receiving signs or you have been receiving signs that you are doing exactly what you need to do to manifest your dreams. Your magic is working. 
I hope this found you well and that you did enjoy it. Um, let me know down below if you like this reading, if you have any ideas for future readings that you'd like to see. Subscribe to catch me again, and until next time, have fun. For your super quick answers for 2022, what's coming towards you? We have the Queen of Swords, so some deep introspection, um, some empathy might be needed. I feel like you're going to become... You're going to be giving something a lot of deliberation and thought in 2022. And people might even come to you and and ask you what you think about quite a few. You may become an advisor because of this, this phase, this overall energy. King of Pentacles is a very good sign for abundance and kind of ruling over your own empire. Um... So kind of, I'm thinking, is that Virgo, Taurus, maybe even Capricorn? But you will be, and this, of course, would be air signs. I'm just getting Libra mostly from this, but maybe Aquarius. Give it space. So if something has been on your mind quite a bit and you're wondering, is, you know, is this going to happen in 2022? It, this looks like a very favorable year. King of Pentacles is all about wealth health, happiness. Um, you might even come out of like a learning program with a lot of degrees. Looking at these two cards, king and queen energy also could be a very happy romantic couple. Um, I like how she's kind of looking at him and he's kind of looking away about his kingdom and it says give it space. So if you you have something like that where the feminine um, energy is being receptive, but the king is like, no, I have a lot to worry about. It's okay. Give it space. I think this is going to work out. Let's see. Ooh, I keep bouncing that. Let's see what your charms are going to be for 2022. Your energy is pile number four. We have A and Y. I'm taking that as yay. You're going to be like very happy. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. And we have love, so that I could be right. That's a love connection. I have something that's just not clear. It might not become clear in that year either. And maybe that's okay. You don't have to know everything. We have eight, so manifestation and manifesting something you're very passionate about. Oh, we have 88 and money. So manifesting passion, money, love. We have this. This makes me think that you will be enjoying the moments um, above all else. I'm sorry about my nails. They're pretty terrible, <laughs> but this is what we had today. So just enjoy this moment right now. That's going to be your your energy for 2022. Don't go chasing things down. That's not, that's not going to help you get to where you want. I feel like with the 88 coming out, you should look up that number. It's a terrific number. Um, let's get your yes or no answer for 2022. If you don't already have a question in mind, please do pause the video and um, meditate upon your question. And I will flip it over. Your answer is yes. Let's see if the cards agree. Take all of the cards and see. Answer. Yes or no for 2022. Listen to your intuition. And that is the Piscean energy as well. So I think you have a pretty good chance of a yes as long as you don't fall for anything and continue to um, allow things to flow, allow things to happen and they will flow towards you. Okay, that's your quick answer. Yes or no for 2022. Do let me know um, if you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you want a longer personal reading, the link is down below. Like, share, subscribe to catch me again and until next time, have fun. Hello, pile five, our final pile. 
what is coming to you in 2022? The quick answer of it is the world. So this could mean travel. This could mean a great amount of acclaim or attention. The whole world is by your side. So support it. Supported energy. I feel like where's the star card features nudity? The world card does feature nudity as if everything has kind of fallen. Um, you are trying to cover yourself, but you have just gotten to the point that you have fought and fought for so long, you know? So I feel like you are going to be coming out of uh, an energy where maybe before you felt a little exposed, but now you just feel like, here I am, okay? And this is how I am. And that's a terrific energy to finally accept yourself and the fact that you have everything that it takes and you always did. That is a terrific card too. You could could be seeking a lot of seeing a lot of abundance, happiness, love, passion, um, influence, affluence. You name it, you've got it. Okay, your wishes might come true in twenty twenty two. The Nine of Cups is here saying that you have a very abundant heart, lots and lots of offers, like many a fine thing have been laid upon your table. That's always what I see when I see this card. Um, and you know what? You don't care. <laughs> it's just, it makes sense to you that you would have this. And I'm telling you, don't get too relaxed with it. Keeping finery like that around, it, you don't turn your back on it and fold your arms. It's going to take some work. Um, so that's a pretty good reading. All you're going to have to do is maintain this wonderful energy of the world card coming into you void your doubts so if you were worried about something for 2022 this is a sign not to whatever it is um it's got no more weight than your success and your acclaim it looks like you're gonna have a pretty wonderful year let's see if we can get some symbols symbols very quickly from our charms 2022 Oh my gosh, Pisces came out in almost everything, and now we have Gemini, and we have the guitar. So someone might be playing, um, maybe finding a little bit of music, either traveling, going to concerts, or kind of being the star. And we have Throat Chakra, so if you like singing, that might be time. Look at that. That reminds me of so many things. Peaceful, loving happy things so with a dolphin be gentle be gentle and we have peace and i say this is protection because it reminds me the way that's orientated as another symbol which i view as protection so you're going to have a protected year try not to get too luxurious in it all right at this time i want to do your yes or no answer so go ahead and think of your question or pause the video and meditate upon it. I am going to turn it over shortly. What is your yes or no answer for 2022? Yes. Let's see if the cards agree because they have more of a chance at diversity. Is the What is the answer for 2022 for our final pile? These poor things. Look at what they can all beat up. There we go. go the time is right if you're thinking about traveling i see a good indicator that 2022 would be an excellent time for you to do the type of traveling that you had in mind um this is a pretty cool reading so waste no time on your happiness and abundance this looks like a yes i hope that is a happy yes let me know how this turned out for you and if you what you'd like to see in future readings like, share, subscribe to catch me again, and until next time, have fun.